The 25th annual anniversary edition of the Outshine LGBTQ Plus Film Festival opens downtown at the Silver Spot Theater Thursday, April 20th with dinner at your seats. An amazing after party and continues at the Silver Spot for 10 more days. Wonderful films, great events, see our stories on the big screen. Meet new people. For more information, go to OutshineFilm.com. That's OutshineFilm.com. The feature films on Sunday, April 23rd are quite incredible. It all starts at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It closes the first big weekend of the Outshine Film Festival. And it begins at 1 p.m. with the Southeast premiere of Big Boys. Next at 2.30 is uh, Queerdom, Queendom. No, it's Queendom, I remember. They're and the then, same thing, yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I know Mark Gilbert. And at 545, Wolf and Dog, and that's going to be the North American premiere. Then at 7.30 p.m., uh, Bed, In Bed, and that's going to be also a North American <laughs> premiere at the Outshine Film Festival. At 7.45 p.m., Mutt, and then at 9.30 p.m., The Damned Don't Cry. How can you go wrong on a Sunday uh, in a single day when you have big boys queen them <laughs> all on the same day. Just, I'm just saying. Uh, you can't. So you you can't. Can. Hold on. Amy Amy <laughs> insisted that we, we have something special for the women on Sunday as well. Oh, and what is that? Oh, is that the happy a, a hour? A cocktail day? hour, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the happy, uh, happy So after the shorts program, the women get together for cocktails, right. and they can stay to see the next women's uh, show at 545. So you can come late for one and have cocktails or early for the other and have cocktails. Excellent. <laughs> or have cocktails, go eat dinner on brick. <laughs> no, no, Amy. Oh, get a room. Amy, you're on the board. Get we have right. to sell tickets. Yeah, you remember that. Get a room. Deborah and That's I used right. to go all the time okay. and buy all these tickets. And I program packages. these movies with out cocktails involved yeah, and then nice they just stuff. work their way in yeah, there then we gave them up later. for you joe <laughs> so joe uh that's the uh, the film program uh, for sunday april 23rd your highlights for you or what yeah and you kept you keep saying premiere and i love to hear that word um but programmatically for us we sort of we want to present the best films for our audience and they happen to be north american premiere so we're very excited about that um big boys is our youth spotlight we've we've never uh, again it's certainly an area that we've highlighted it but it's never been a focus, and we're excited to work with Prism on on creating this youth spotlight where, again, kids who may not feel comfortable, it's a safe space for them to come out and see a movie about them. We have some movies that are about youth but really aren't for youth, and this is really about youth and, and for youth. Big boys. Big boys. Yeah. Camping trip, a kid decides that he's infatuated with his cousin's boyfriend. Yeah. So yeah. Um, fascinating. In bed is really... Uh, before oh, you move on, sure. um, there's nothing more topical in LGBTQ community in Miami-Dade County uh, or in Florida uh, than this youth conversation and the coming out experience. Um, you know, there's a whole cadre of people that say, nope, don't talk about it. Pretend it doesn't exist. And Outshine <laughs> Film Festival is putting it front and center in the film. Somebody said something like, no, don't say gay yeah. or something. No names no names mentioned. That was good. Um, I think we might know who that is. But yeah, and it, again, it's important for us to create these safe spaces where, you know, we're presenting films that we want audiences to see, yet they may not feel comfortable. And this is one of the areas where they might. And we want to, again, provide a safe space for them and a movie that, that sort of doesn't overwhelm them. It's in English. It's a, a, a really sort of easy to digest for them and to talk about and, and to sort of say these feelings that they might be having are, are feelings that are valid. So we're excited to be able to, to spotlight those. Well, that's the, uh, the first weekend, but there is one more thing, and I, I, I'm just really uh, excited about it. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.